How do we peer into the distant past and determine the age of a star that burns millions of light years away? It begins with understanding that stars, like living creatures, have life cycles. These cycles, governed by mass and chemical composition, allow scientists to build detailed models, stellar models, that predict how a star evolves over time. Massive stars burn bright and die young, often exploding in spectacular supernovae, while smaller stars like our Sun lead longer, steadier lives. By observing where a star sits on the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, a chart of brightness versus temperature, astronomers can compare it to theoretical models and estimate its age with surprising accuracy. Another clue lies in nucleosynthesis, the process by which stars fuse lighter elements into heavier ones. The specific abundance of elements like helium, carbon, and iron in a star's atmosphere acts like a chemical clock. Older stars born in the early universe tend to have fewer heavy elements because the universe hadn't yet produced many through supernova explosions. By examining a star's spectrum and analyzing these elemental fingerprints, scientists can deduce how many generations of stellar life preceded it, helping place the star within cosmic time. Then there are white dwarfs, stellar corpses that no longer burn fuel. After a star like our Sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it sheds its outer layers and leaves behind a dense, cooling core. This remnant slowly radiates away its heat over billions of years. Since we understand the physics of how white dwarfs cool, astronomers can use their temperature as a cosmic stopwatch. Cooler white dwarfs are older. By measuring how cold they are, researchers can estimate how long they've been fading, providing insight into the age of both the star and the system it once belonged to. Combining all these methods, stellar modeling, elemental signatures, and white dwarf cooling, astronomers can piece together a star's history with remarkable precision. This doesn't just reveal how old an individual star is, but also helps chart the timeline of entire star clusters and even the age of our galaxy. Dating stars is like reading the pages of a very ancient book, each data point a sentence, each method a different lens, giving us a clearer picture of how the cosmos has evolved over billions of years.